Hey, this is still busted apparently. <laughs> um, sure. This is, um, I had the other one just a little bit ago. I had Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. So now we'll see if we can get this one working, but I don't think it's working at all. Let's have a look. Let's pop her in, shall we? Like this, like that, and like this. And, uh, all right. So in these open cart surgery videos, I just try to clean the games to get them working again. Sometimes it's all it needs, and I'm hoping that's all it ever needs. Um, if cleaning it doesn't work, I try a couple of other things too, and when in doubt, I look to the audience. But well, we'll see what we'll, we'll see what's going on here anyway. So I'm gonna pop it open here. If you ever been curious, the gold carts on Nintendo games were originally black that they painted gold. I wish we just had black carts instead of the Federation of Neutrality gray. All right. Uh, they taped the battery on here. They taped the battery on here. Well, no, the battery... This is an old battery. I mean, it's... I'm going to try replacing the battery. It was literally... The battery was taped on here, not even soldered. All right. Um, let's try that. And then, from there, we'll see if the rest of the game works. So now we got to change the perspective here. I got to unsolder where the tabs are. You can also just touch a soldering iron to it and pull it out with like a pair of tweezers or something like that. I have this desoldering pump that I grabbed for like ten bucks or something like that. I have everything that I use linked on my Amazon affiliate link in the description below. Um, I just got to push this in to cock it. When I push the button, uh, it'll suck up the solder through that little doop right there. So if I just kind of like such, push the button, sucks up the solder. And then this guy, which is probably a little hot. I probably should be touching it with my fingers. <laughs> should come right out. Wish I had a third hand to pull that thing out. It's all right. A pair of tweezers would have been better, but didn't have one on hand, so I'll just use finger strength. All right, so I got to... I want to touch up the solder on the uh, back end here. Just one there. Oh, got to cock it first. Right in there. Hit the button. One more, just for good measure. I want to add my own solder anyway. Um, I'll do one more on this side too. Just got to, a, there's a wider slot on that side. Although there's a wider slot on that side, my tabbed batteries, and you can just do an eBay search for uh, tabbed batteries. For uh, NES, you want to use the 2032s. The positive side is the top side, while the minus side, the negative side, is the bottom side. You can see where it's tabbed on the bottom there. This one's tabbed on the top. The top part goes in the wider angle side. You can see the, where the wider one here is. That plus, that's the plus. That's the plus. I want to make sure those add up. And these should fit right in there just about perfectly. If you got to bend the little tabs a little bit, that's nothing wrong with that at all. In fact, make them go in there. I'll even bend these back. Bend these back here a little bit too, just to kind of hold them in place. Okay, we gotta just do that. Now we gotta solder it in place. We'll see if that's all it took. Hopefully it is. I don't think it is, but we'll give it a shot. Now, normally for this part, I'd use a soldering iron, but because my soldering, my desoldering iron is still hot, it'll also work. So now we have Legend of Zelda with the tabbed battery, as you can see in the back, just like that. All right, um, I never even hit it with a one-up card, but it looks clean. Uh, just to remove all doubt, only because it can look super clean, but it still be super dirty. So, all right, you can use Q-tips and rubbing alcohol too. I use these one-up cards; they're handy for me. All right, let's see. You can pop it in without the card; doesn't matter. Nintendo don't care. Nope. Ah. All right. You can use Brasso too. I got in the habit of using Bright Boy though. Um, it's like Brasso, but doesn't leave the white residue. And I can't find it in stores, but I have it linked, like I said, description below. It's in the Amazon affiliate and all that. Works the same. You saw how clean the cart looked, but then you start getting the dirt. Well, which is actually probably small traces of pin. However, 
I've never had a game not work because I've used Brasso too much. Um, I know a lot of people are like anti-Brasso, and no, a little bit goes a long way. And that Bright Boys lasted me. Well, I've never had. I've only had to buy one. I say buy one. It was actually gifted to me from my buddy Gary from Rock Solid Productions. He was the one who sold me on it, and I was like, well, I don't know. Brasso still works. And he's like, dude, all right, I'll just buy you one. <laughs> that happens. All right, let's check it out. One last time here. Here we go. Nope. I know. Ain't that something. Well, as always, I look to you in the comments if you have any ideas of what it could be. Um, man, like it wasn't even like even like a Legend of Link or a Legend of Link, Adventure of Link. Um, at least turned on. But I don't see any broken capacitors. I don't see any uh, the resistors look fine. You know, just plain old game. I mean, the battery was taped on. There's that. However, uh, if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments. And in the meantime, you can check out some of the other open cart surgery videos where I actually got some working. Unlike this one. Yeah. Everything else looks alright though. So, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments. And you're awesome. And check out the playlist. And very cool. And take care. And we'll see ya.